As if to be keeping in perfect rhythm, pizza dough is sliced into exact proportions. Buckets of cheese are prepped, and with just the right amount of sauce, not to mention exactly five minutes and 15 seconds in the conveyor belt oven, the perfect bar pizza is born. Welcome to the home of Cape Cod Cafe's frozen pizzas of Brockton. We didn't set out to make a frozen pizza. We made a pizza and froze it. Jonathan Jamoulis is the third generation to own and operate the Cape Cod Cafe. His grandfather, once standing behind this exact bar when he bought the popular local eatery back in 1947. And for more than 70 years, they've been serving up the original bar pizza. It's a 10 inch pizza. Sauce and cheese go all the way to the edge. Um, nice crispy crust, thin, it's delicious. <laughs> About 10 years ago, the Jamulas family decided to expand their pizza operation beyond the restaurant and move into the frozen food market. A mass production facility was built across the street, and now they can be found in 70% of grocery stores throughout New England and upstate New York. Not to mention the red-hot demand for these frozen pies online. We get requests for Florida, California, Colorado. Uh, we ship nationally, so we get, we, we're shipping everywhere. Speaking of locations, by now you've probably asked yourself, how can a company based in Brockton call itself Cape Cod when it's still 45 minutes to the bridges? It seems at one time, more than just pizza joints in these parts claimed a connection to the Cape in their name. Way back when in the 30s, Route 28 and what goes through Brockton on Main Street was the original way to get to the Cape. So people coming from Boston had to go through Brockton to get to Cape Cod. Speaking of stories, here's one regarding the exact ingredients for the Cape Cod Cafe pizza sauce. Seems only three people alive know what exactly is in it. Jonathan, his brother, and their dad. Jonathan jokingly telling me they're afraid to go on vacation together and fly on the same plane. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB News Center 5.